So what's been happening, you might be asking? Well, everything's flourishing, everything's busy, and I'm getting reprogrammed, so to speak. Well, what do you mean, Wally? Well, for many, many years, I was the co-founder and, and chairman, chief executive. It all sounds grand and glorious. Actually, it was very grand and very glorious to serve the God I love so much. I've basically been finding myself being reprogrammed and really pressing in and, and in my time of prayer and seeking God, find out what am I meant to do with the rest of my life? What's the next step? And as I would say, Lord, what do you want me to do? What's my purpose? And talking specifically about Christian television, what I've been wrestling with, for many of you who've known me as Rory Alec from Christian television, is how can one fund Christian television without allowing the tainting of the gospel for the lack of finances and for needing funding to pay for the television program making and distribution around the world. And that's been the biggest challenge. I think the thing that took most of my energy at God TV as chief executive was figuring out how you're going to pay for it. At one point we were running at around 2.6, maybe even three and a half million, depending on which year it was and what was happening. That's a lot of money. That's every month, by the way. That's a lot of money, at least in my world, that you've got to find. You've got to believe God for. You've got to believe people for. That they would be obedient when prompted by Him. People enjoying the service, will they actually support the service by also giving back? The fact that we had to ask people on television, write to people every month, and say, please support us. We need the finances to continue making the programming and all of that came into charities around the world and thank God for the people who were obedient but you know statistically I don't know if you know this but less than 20% in fact a lot less than 20% of all of the viewers of our Christian television network actually ever gave something to the Christian television network and you think about that there would be absolutely no financial challenges in the Christian church today if people had actually just given something every month we would have more money than we actually would know what to do with believe it or not and of course from a Christian's perspective we would have got the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ the gospel shared around the world so why am I saying this standing here on a platform overlooking this beautiful sea here in Austria well since I left God TV five years ago and no one knows the details except close family and no one knows the full details except him, the complexities of the reasons, the decision I made all those years ago. You know, many people out there are going, oh my God, Rory just abandoned the ministry. He abandoned his former life. He just walked out. And I understand how people can see it that way. But if you were in my shoes and you had to deal with all of the complexities I was dealing with personally, with those that I was in relationship closely, family, etc., and those people uh, in my organization, and then again, those people who enjoyed the output that we worked so hard on every day, every week, every month. If you understood all of those complexities, uh, you wouldn't be so quick to judge. But that's not what this vlog is about. And for me specifically, what does the next season look like and how do you fund it? That's really what I'm pressing in. So, when I'm not doing vlogs and when I'm not working, when I'm not making videos, when I'm not editing, when I'm not supporting Corolla, when we're not traveling around the country, I'm continually developing the business plan, continually pressing into him and saying, what's the next season? What does that content look like? How, do, how, how should it be? Because I think there needs to be a revolution in Christian television. Or Alec, can you ask that? Can you state that? Can you make that declaration? Yeah, I think I can. I think I'm one of the few people on planet Earth that was a pioneer, apostolically, prophetically. I know the good, the bad, and the ugly of Christian television. Christian television can be glorious, but Christian television can also be extremely manipulative. And the, it's more the people and the motivations behind Christian television. And I'm not judging anybody, but I am saying we're dealing with dynamics of disobedience on people who consume Christian television 
and we're dealing with potentially greed in some cases, pressure, struggling of people who are running Christian television. How do you fund Christian television? Is it a charity? Is it not a charity? Is it a for-profit? Charitable structures for Christian television, Christian media, is that whoever supports with their donations can get a tax write-off, is the main reason. Uh, nowadays, many, 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 many people support many, many people in crowdfunding platforms. There's no tax deductions. People just give generously because they enjoy what that person is doing. And to you guys, my patrons, thank you so much for your patronage. I appreciate it. And the difference between Patreon.com, which is where you can support me, um, is it's not a charitable structure. I mean, people go there and they support every month with three euros or three pounds or dollars or whatever it might be that you have or whatever amount you choose. Some support much more. And I'm grateful for that because it really helps me do less other stuff so that I can do more of this stuff, if you know what I'm saying. To finish with this thought process on this vlog, there is ways to do it. And I think in the last five years I'm beginning to get such a clear understanding not only of what the next season will look like, not only of what that content will be and how it can serve the kingdom, how it can benefit the planet, um, how it can bring glory to the Lord that I love so much and who loves you so much and loves all of us so much. But I'm also getting re reprogrammed in my mind as a, as, a, as a future chief exec for this next season, this next media platform. I'm getting a very clear idea of how to fund it and this is very exciting it's a win 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 on all fronts and so that's what I'm doing with my week so just a quick catch up on this vlog to all of you by the way who've sent comments I've had some fantastic comments let's see if I can get my my other phone out here by the way the vlog is always done on an iPhone it's always cut on iMovie I, this is not what I do for my tent making uh, video work obviously then we use big boy cameras and we we use serious editing software but in terms of this vlog I like to keep it simple so I apologize for the noisy wind if you've been hearing lots of wind noise from this beautiful day stormy day but beautiful all right I'll put these glasses on just hang on let me put the camera down don't drop the camera in the water oh. right I don't know if it's recording so let's have a look some updates to you guys who've been sending comments thank you so much yeah do send me a comment on the bottom here just in YouTube or on Facebook just say hey Rory um, this is who I am and this is where I'm watching your vlog from and and any thoughts you have you know this particularly this vlog I've been talking about some pretty interesting stuff I'm not gonna edit it too much so you're gonna get what you're gonna get here's some folks who have written so I'll just read some of these here greatest revelation of yourself when you climb a mountain uh, it has total knowledge of the shape you're in, your capacity for cycling happiness and for happiness in general. It's yourself you're climbing and if you don't want to know, stay at the bottom and I agree with that Ian. I tell you, you get to know about yourself when you tackle a mountain. And I think that's the thing that I've found for the last 20 years with God TV. It was a mountain to climb. I mean, it looked so easy on the outside. We all looked so happy and everything else. And, and we were, we were filled with the joy of the Lord. But I want to tell you something, every single month, finding the funding, uh, meeting the responsibilities of the costs for that, thanking God, praying and appreciating those people who supported uh, the ministry every single month, paying the salaries for over 220 people. I mean, this is, this is, this is huge stuff. I mean, operating 10 plus local offices around the world. You need the grace of God to do that kind of thing. And more importantly, you need partners, you need people to support you for that. And that's not what I'm asking for on this vlog. That's not really where I'm going to. What I'm saying on this vlog is how do you do it again and how do you do it differently? Because the bottom line is you're either selling something to someone or you're providing a service to someone. If you have a business or if you have a ministry, you're doing those two things. And in return, people are giving you value or they attribute value to that, that product you're selling them or they attribute value to the service you're providing them. That's how the whole thing operates. It has for centuries, for thousands of years. It's never changed. And I don't think it's going to change again for me, Rory Alec, as I move into this next season. But I'm becoming a lot smarter in terms of making money and understanding how money is made as opposed to just taking people's money for the last 20 years and converting that into television production. I was taking, with the team, 
uh, thousands of partners finances every month through charitable organizations which were fully audited which were run and overseen and and regulated um, and taking that money and turning it into hours and hours and hours, thousands of hours of television programming this is noble and those hours and hours of television programming were blessing so many people all over the world that was that business model but as I move into this new season and I, I know I'm sharing a lot with you guys on this vlog but I really want to, I really want to get that right. Anyway, Ian, you're right about climbing mountains. <laughs> For sure. They definitely uh, get you to realize who you are. They show, they're like a mirror. Climbing a mountain is like looking into a mirror. You get to really know more about yourself. So Ian, thank you for that. Uh, listen, I'm going to get out of this rain because I'm standing here like a fool getting totally soaked. But it's absolutely magnificent. Thanks for watching this vlog. Uh, thanks for joining me every week. Much more to come on this vlog in the weeks ahead. I'm going to go and join the family now. Love being with you guys. Thanks for all of your positive comments. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. I gotta go. From me to Catch up with you guys soon. Ciao for now.